I just saw the ESPN pound for pound list and it's trash, period. Okay. Um, and we're going to get into it and see like why I, why I personally feel it's trash. And mainly because it's just a political list, but it's not, it's not trash, trash, but it's trash only because of really one fighter that's on the list. And then also just, I mean, order, it's fine. Like, you know, the order, people are going to make a decision on what order these fighters need to be. But yeah, so, but before we get into it, if you don't mind, please hit that like button and also subscribe and also hit the notification bell. So that way you can be notified of all the good content that we got for the rest of the year and then also beyond. So let's go ahead and get into this pound for pound list. So I'm going to read off the list real quick. And then you can you can see what I'm saying. So number one was Canelo. Number two, Bud Crawford. Number three, Inouye. Number four, Usyk. Number five, Tyson Fury. Number six, Errol Spence Jr. Number seven, Josh Taylor. Number eight, Lomachenko. Number nine, Francisco Estrada. And number 10, Tank Davis. All right. So this is why I feel like it was a, a worthless list. Okay. I wouldn't say worthless, but it's definitely not a good good list. Okay. Um so let's just deal with number one. So number one is Canelo Alvarez. Look, regardless of what anybody says or feels, I know some people might be Canelo haters and stuff like that. And some, you know, I get it. But he is the pound for pound king of the sport. And how you know he's the pound for pound king of the sport is because he can get anybody he wants in the ring with him at any time, whenever he feels like it. Okay. That lets you know you're the pound for pound king. <laughs> right? That's that should just be understood. So um he's a four division champion going for five division champion. He's had two draws, right? One of them to Triple G, most notably. The other one uh, was to somebody way back in his career, uh, Jorge Juarez. All right. So that was like his fifth pro fight. Okay. Obviously, he's had a lot of fights since then. He's had, you know, we're, we're talking about like 59 fights, close to 60 fights. He's got 56 wins, one loss, and two draws. He's only lost to Floyd Mayweather Jr., Okay, so that should, should let you know, regardless of all the hate, Canelo is the pound for pound king of the sport. Okay, so number one should be an automatic. That should be automatic. Okay, now another reason why I have Canelo as number one is because, and why it makes sense for him to be number one is because he is an undisputed champion. Currently. Okay, so he's a current undisputed champion. So it's not that he has losses and he's just a name or whatever, but he currently is an undisputed champion in the, in the sport of boxing. Okay. So that should account for something. And he's been a champion in multiple weight classes. All right. So that, you know, and a unified champion in multiple weight classes. So that that should let you know, you know, what my criteria for pound for pound list. You can't just be like you couldn't have just been a unified champion back in the day. You know what I'm saying? And and have these small little like you've only had like 10 fights or 11 fights or whatever. Like, no, like you you were undisputed or you were a unified champion and you and you currently are some type of champion. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like you're under you're undefeated. That should be a given. Unless you're Canelo, you should be undefeated, or you have a lot of accolades in the pros. Okay, all right. So now you know where I'm at. That's that should be that should should be how we say undisputed, or we should say like pound for pound list. That's my criteria, if that makes sense. I think that that makes sense to y'all too. All right. 
This is the reason why my number two, right, is I, I don't agree. I, I don't agree with ESPN's number two, even though he's one of he's actually my favorite fighter currently right now. So number two is Bud Crawford. Okay, Bud Crawford. Let me just pull up Bud Crawford real quick. Okay, like so. Here's the thing with Bud. He's the best fighter right now in boxing. He's the best fighter in boxing right now, currently. Okay? Um, and, it's be and so because he's the best fighter in boxing, that doesn't mean that you're the pound for pound, like, king. It just means that, you know, you're the best fighter, period. So you got, so Bud is coming through from the, like, lightweights. So Bud's got the lightweight. He's got the welterweight. I mean, uh, uh, light welterweight. And then he's got welterweight. Okay, so three division champion. At the same time, though, he also was an undisputed champion in the, Junior welterweights. Okay. So he's an undisputed champion in the junior welterweights. And he's been avoided in the welterweights a lot. And he's, but he's a current champion, current champion in the welterweights. So you, so everybody's like, okay, look, like he just got through with Sean Porter. You know, these are big, big fights, big fights. So they got Bud Crawford at, at number two. All right. And so, hey, that's that's big. This is big. So you're a three time division champion. Right. Undisputed champion. And you got you got some big fights under your belt. OK, no problem. But this is this is my this is my dilemma. OK. Terrence Crawford. And Alexander Usyk, Alexander Usyk is an undisputed champion as well. But Alexander Usyk has, 19, has done it in 19 fights and he's got more belts in the heavyweight division. Okay. Terrence Crawford has been avoided. It's, uh, it's not his fault. And he's the best fighter in boxing. And he's the best switch hitter in boxing. Okay. But when we're talking about a pound for pound list. You can't say that Alexander Usyk's uh, record doesn't stand up to what Terrence Crawford is doing. And in a shorter period of time, Alexander Usyk is an undisputed champion as well. And he's a unified champion in the heavyweight division. And he's knocking on the door of being a two-time undisputed champion champion if he gets the fight with Tyson Fury. Regardless, Terrence Crawford is not knocking at the door of, a un, of being undisputed in the welterweight division. He's not. Because Uge, I mean, um, yeah, Ugas, whatever his name is, the WBA champion is not going to be able to fight anytime soon with Errol Spence Jr. or Terrence Crawford. So Terrence Crawford might not be fighting Errol Spence Jr. this year. So that's why I feel like you have to have Usyk right now as number two or at least tied with Terrence Bud Crawford. I know it sounds crazy, but that's just how this thing goes. I know people are like, what? You're bugging. You're bugging putting Usyk. But Usyk is an undisputed champion. And he's a unified champion right now in another division, in his the current division and he's knocking on the door of being a, a two-time undisputed champion in two different weight class two different weight classes all right so i have usik as number two tied with bud crawford that's what i have because i think that it's just as far as their accolades go the three-time division part of terrence bud crawford and the um and the fact that Usyk is knocking on the door of undisputed 
at heavyweight, it warrants a tie. And that's what I have right now on my record. I have Usyk and Bud Crawford tied at number two. Okay. Now, back to the ESPN pound for pound list. They have in a way as number three. Look, I don't I don't know how you do that. I don't know how you do that. And this is this is why I don't know how you do that. Josh Taylor is a current undisputed champion in his division. He is a current undisputed champion in his division. So there's only six in the history of boxing. And you're saying that Josh Taylor is not the next person. Okay, that's that's complete disrespect. It just is. Josh Taylor is undisputed champion in his division. So that means that he he's got all the belts in his division. How do you put a unified champion? I albeit like he he had in two two divisions, and that's you know, I get it. Like, so he's a two division champion. But Josh Taylor is an undisputed champion in his division. And Josh Taylor is 18 and 0. All right. Like in a way is 21 and 0. So what are we talking about? They're both, you know what I'm saying? They both have small careers. So at the end of the day, Josh Taylor should be the next person in line if we're talking, if we're trying to be unbiased. So it should be Canelo. It should be a tie between Terrence Crawford and Usyk. And then the next person should be Josh Taylor because Josh Taylor is an undisputed champion. All right. That's that's what I got as of right now. All right. Um, now, after Josh Taylor, so they, so they got in a way, then the next person they got is Usyk. And then after that is Tyson Fury. Now, this and this is where I agree. So Tyson Fury should be after Josh Taylor. Why? Because Tyson Fury is also knocking at the door of an undisputed title for heavyweight in the heavyweight division. He beat Deontay Wilder in a trilogy, right? Which Deontay Wilder was said to be the top heavyweight in the world. And Tyson Fury arguably beat him twice. Okay. And some people think he beat him three times. <laughs> but if, I mean, so I don't really like to deal with the ifs, if he if he wins, but he is knocking on the door of a potential undisputed title as long as Anthony Joshua takes a step aside money. But that, but that's, that's an if. But it's still, right now, as far as the heavyweight division, there's two top, people in the heavyweight division out of the four, the Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, and Alexander Usyk, arguably you can say that Tyson Fury, you know, and Usyk, those are the, obviously those are the two. And you could pretty much make the case that Tyson Fury might be uh, stronger of the two just because of his height and his weight. But that doesn't mean that, that that's going to happen. But I'm just saying that Tyson Fury has to be the next one in line after Josh Taylor because he fought the best fighter in the world at the time and he beat him, you know. And so that's what that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm feeling. So I'm saying Tyson Fury is after Josh Taylor. All right. Then you got, and, I, and you know, it's, he's 31-0-1. Okay. And he's got plenty of accolades in the heavyweight division. So, all right. So that, that's that's what I got there. So Tyson Fury after Josh Taylor. In the in back to the ESPN pound for pound, they have Tyson Fury after Usyk, and then after Fury, then they have Errol Spence Jr. Okay, I feel that. This is where Inouye actually should be. Inouye should be after Tyson Fury. So 
in a way because he is a two division champion. Okay, so in a way is a two division champion. Aero Spence Jr. is not a two division champion. Aero Spence Jr. is a one division champion in the welterweight uh, division. He is twenty seven and zero, and but he is a unified champion, just like in a way is a unified champion. But in a way is a two division champion. So it makes sense that in a way has is twenty one and zero. Aero Spence is twenty seven and zero. But Arrow has only done, he's only been in the welterweights. And so it's because of that that I have him, even though he's like my second, he's like my second favorite fighter right now in boxing. Um, he's got to be behind in a way. That's, you know, that, so that's what I'm, that's what I'm rocking with as far as for, for Arrow. So Arrow is after in a way. So I got in a way. Then I have Aero Spence Jr. Now, what they have next is after Aero Spence Jr., they have Josh Taylor. It's just disrespectful. It's just disrespectful for Josh Taylor to be that far down the line. You know, just because he hasn't had the big, big blockbuster fights does not mean that he's not way up on the pound for pound list because of his being an undisputed champion his undisputed status. I mean, it's just disrespectful. So that's how I feel about um, the list. So, I, so, so what, so once again, they have Canelo Crawford, Inouye, Usyk, Fury, Errol, then Josh Taylor. I have Canelo, Usyk and Terrence Crawford as a tie, then Josh Taylor, then Tyson Fury, then Inouye, and then Aero Spence Jr. Okay, now this is where things get tricky. And and really, really, this is where I don't like the list at all. Okay. The next person on the list, after an undisputed champion of his division, you have someone that's not even a champion. Lomachenko, man. Lomachenko. Now, now. I've said this before. Lomachenko is an amazing fighter. All right? He's an amazing fighter. But here's the deal with Lomachenko. Okay? He's not a champion. He's not a current champion. Has he had an amazing amateur career? Absolutely. But the guy got two losses in the pros. He's got two losses in the pros. Now, did he unify the lightweight division and make it so that way now Cambosis has these, these titles. Yeah. Okay. He, he got the belts. Um, did he fight some, some really great fighters in his career? Yeah. Does he have a strong resume? He, he like he has, he has written now on his, on his resume. He's got Leonardo on his resume. Um, like he's got Luke Campbell on his resume. Tifimo Lopez, you know, I get it. Nakatani, like he's, He's going to fight fight Richard Comey. He, I mean, he's fighting some fights. He's fighting some fighters, right? I'm not sitting here and saying, like, Gary Russell Jr. Like, he, he's got some fighters. He's got a great resume. At the end of the day, though, he's still got two losses, all right? And he's not, he's not a champion right now. He's not a champion. So when you have a pound-for-pound pound list and it can get updated on a continuous basis, there's no reason for you to have... Someone on the list is someone on the list that's not a champion right now. You can't like you can't say, oh, like I can't put Tyson Fury above Josh Taylor right now when he he's not the undisputed champion. He's not an undisputed champion. So I shouldn't I shouldn't put uh, Tyson Fury above Josh Taylor just because he has the potential. It, it shouldn't be a potential list. It should be the pound for pound list right now because you can update this list. You can constantly update this, this list. It's just a, dis, it's, a, it's a disrespect to people within the lightweight division that are champions. You know, Cambosis is not on my list, but you're saying that, um, that Lomachenko is above Cambosis and Cambosis is the unified champion in the division. Devin Haney is the WBC champion in the division. You know, like Javante Tank Davis is in that division. 
So what are we what are we talking about? Like Tiafimo Lopez is not on the list. And Tiafimo Lopez beat Lomachenko. He's not on this list. That's what I'm saying. That's why it's it's a crazy list. It's a political list. Like Tiafimo Lopez, if that's the case, Tiafimo Lopez should be on this list. But Tiafimo Lopez is not on my list. And he's not on none of y'all's list, man. Come on. Y'all crazy. Anyway, Lomachenko, they got Lomachenko after an a undisputed champion in Josh Taylor. Insane. Okay. So, I, I, I obviously, I don't have Lomachenko on this list. Period. Because he's not a champion. He's not, cha- he's not a current champion right now. He's got a, he's got a, a good resume, but he's not a champion. Um, and he's got two losses. All right. So then, then the next person that they got is Estrada, Francisco Estrada. I really like that pick. I like I like uh, uh, the pick. But here here's here's my contrast. Okay. So what I got is after Aero Spence Jr., then I have Javante Tank Davis. Now you, you're like, well, you know, whoa. How did, you know, we haven't even heard Javante Tank Davis on this list so far. I, I get it. Aero Spence Jr. is a one division unified champion. The next person I have on the list is a three division champion, which is Javante Tank Davis. He's a three division champion. Okay. Super featherweight, lightweight, and then uh, then he got the, the junior welterweight title. You know, um, it, it's a regular title. Still, but he's a three division title title holder, so he's got regular he's got regular belts in all three divisions in all three of those divisions. And here's the thing: regardless of what anybody says, Javante Davis can basically get anybody he wants in the ring as well. <laughs> so he he can if he calls a fight, I mean, he pretty much can get it. Granted, I know it's, he's got the Mayweather brand behind him, but that. He can pretty much get who he wants in the ring. Okay. And I'm saying that right now, as it stands, three division champion, Javante Tank Davis. I mean, there's not too many fighters in junior welterweight, uh, lightweight, or super featherweight that can really deal with. Javante Tang Davis as of right now. And so that's why I, that's why I feel like Aero Spence, after Aero Spence, you gotta have Javante Tank Davis. Okay. So that's my um, you know, when I'm when I'm looking at that list, I'm saying that that's number eight for me is Javante Tank Davis. All right, number so um so instead of Lomachenko, I got Javante Tank Davis. Number nine, they have a, uh, Francisco Estrada. Francisco, Francisco Estrada, I do have him on the um, on my list, but I don't have him as number nine. I actually have him as number ten. And then, um, so my number nine is actually someone that they did not have on the list, which is Triple G. I don't understand how Triple G is not on this list. Triple G is a is a unified champion. Um, he's a, oh, a previous unified champion. He was, um, uh, and the only loss of his career is to the number one pound for pound fighter in Canelo. And some people say that he won the fight. So I don't, you know, he so say he's got a, he's got a, a draw and a loss to the same fighter and the same fight. And that fighter is the pound for pound king of the sport right now. I don't understand how Triple G and he's Triple G is trying to unify right now in the middleweight division. Okay, so he's a current champion. He's a past unified champion. And he's only lost to one fighter, which is the pound for pound king of the sport. And he's only had one draw, which is to the pound for pound king of the sport. How is he not? His record is 41, one and one. 41, 1, and 1. How, how, is, how is he not on the list? 36 of those 
fights. For 36 of those 40 of the of the 43 fights are coming by way of KO. How is he not? You know what I'm saying? I don't get it. It's just political. Okay? So I'm saying my number nine is Triple G. And then number 10, I do have Francisco Estrada to round it out. And the reason why is because, yes, he has three losses. Okay? But the man is 42 and three. A two-division champion. And he's currently a champion as well. And he's been pretty much the face when it comes to um, to all the the flyweight champions, you know, like that that flyweight division, I would say since uh, probably 2012. Yeah, 2012, the man has been pretty much the face of the flyweight division. So, I mean, he's got like super flyweight, flyweight. Um, yeah, he's got the WBC and the ring super flyweight titles. He won the WBA super flyweight title. I mean, I don't know, man. I, I don't, I don't. So to me, Estrada rounds out that, that whole thing. So from start to finish, I got Canelo. Well, what they, what the pound for pound list was on ESPN, they got Canelo, Bud Crawford, in a way. Usyk, Tyson Fury, Errol Spence Jr., Josh Taylor, Lomachenko, Estrada, and Tank Davis. Um, I, I have Canelo, Usyk, and Terrence Crawford tied. Then I have Josh Taylor. Then I have Tyson Fury. Then I have Inouye. Then Errol Spence Jr., Javante Tank Davis. Then Triple G. And last to round it out, Francisco Estrada. I, I I guarantee you, if you put my list against that crazy list of ESPN, my list is winning every time. <laughs> if you hung out with me the whole time, I know this is a long video, but hey, look, passion. That's all I can say, passion. And, you know, I, I don't like to see people get done wrong, especially people that are undisputed, especially people that have, have really put it together and really put it to, you know, really tried to make it, um, you know, put the effort in to win and to, and to fight the fights that the fans really want to see, not ducking. I don't, I don't know how you do that to Josh Taylor. I really don't. I don't know how you, I don't know how you don't have Usyk right there with Terrence Crawford. I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? Terrence Crawford is, is my favorite fighter right now. I don't know how you have, uh, I don't know how you have uh, Triple G off the list. I don't know how you have um, Lomachenko on, on the list above Tank Davis. I don't know how you have Lomachenko on this list and you don't have Teofimo Lopez or Kimbosis on the list. You know? I don't know how you have, have Inouye above Undisputed Champion. I don't get it. I don't get it. But uh, at the end of the day, hey, they, they, they're they ESPN and I'm just shoot the jab. <laughs> so, you know, hopefully maybe we can get us a channel and we can do what we do. You know what I'm saying? But hey, if y'all like this content, and you think that this was beneficial and helpful and valuable, you know, please hit the like button and also think about subscribing. What does don't think about it, man? Actually do this thing, man. I know this is a long video, but I had to give y'all what I knew and what I know. And what you know, you know to be true. And if that, you know, I, I hope that uh, you have a really great day. And I hope that this list actually gives you some perspective on why these people should be where they're at. And and then also maybe you can call ESPN and tell them like, man, y'all need to just update the list to what's current right now, not potential and not what's political. So with that being said, as always, peace, one love. Oh, hey, we out of there.